Buenos días y bienvenidos a la novena conferencia anual de Seguimos Creando Enlaces. Me llamo Greg Lucas y soy el bibliotecario del Estado de California, USA. De parte de la Biblioteca Estatal de California y Bibliotecas y Bibliotecarios de California, me gustaría agradecer a nuestros socios en este proyecto, AMBAC, ABIBAC, Bibliotecas Públicas y Universidades de todo México. Estamos muy agradecidos por su participación y apoyo a este evento. También me gustaría agradecer a nuestros otros socios y a los organizadores de este evento virtual, la Cooperativa uh, de Bibliotecas del Sur de California, la Cooperativa de Bibliotecas Serra, Library 2.0, y la Escuela de Información de la Universidad Estatal de San José. Creando enlaces es una experiencia de aprendizaje importante que no se parece a ninguna otra y son ustedes, los participantes, quienes la hacen tan única y impactante. A través de este tiempo juntos, Construimos la colaboración transfronteriza y el entendimiento cultural. Encontramos y celebramos lo que tenemos en común y compartimos las mejores prácticas para los servicios bibliotecarios en las comunidades latinx. El tema de la conferencia de este año, participación ciudadana en acción, es incluso más importante ahora que cuando fue seleccionado. La pandemia del COVID-19 y los temas de justicia racial y equidad social han hecho que el papel de las bibliotecas como espacios de reflexión y renovación, espacios donde las comunidades pueden Uh, unirse para abordar grandes desafíos se más esencial que nunca. Gracias uh, nuevamente a todos nuestros colegas alrededor del mundo por hacer este evento tan especial. Me inspira el trabajo que hacen todos los días y espero aprender con dijo. Gracias. Good morning to all. My name is Miguel Acosta and I'm the director of the San Diego County Library. On behalf of the County Library and the Serra Library Cooperative, I'd like to welcome you to the Seguimos Creando Enlaces Conference, now in its ninth year. Creando Enlaces brings together libraries from the U.S., Mexico, and across the globe to share best practices and build more inclusive library spaces. This year's event is presented by the Southern California Library Cooperative in partnership with the Sarah Library Cooperative, the California State Library, Library 2.0, and the School of Information at San Jose State University. We thank our partners for their role in making this virtual event possible. And a special thank you to our partners at San Diego Public Library as founders of this event. We are so delighted to see people from all over the world in attendance today. I would also like to send a friendly hello to our colleagues in Mexico from Abibac and Ambac. The theme of this year's conference is Civic Engagement in Action, and I can't think of a better topic for libraries to address during this time of great change and great challenges. From supporting elections and volunteerism to crisis response, libraries help build healthy, safe, and thriving communities. I hope that at the end of the conference, you leave feeling inspired by your colleagues and better prepared to serve Latino communities and support civic engagement. Thank you for joining us and have a wonderful conference.
Buen día. Es para mí un honor como presidenta de Avivac, la Asociación de Bibliotecarios de Baja California, asistir de manera virtual, ahora en su noveno año, a Seguimos Creando Enlaces 2021, evento del que desde sus inicios en 2012 ha permitido el crecimiento y enriquecimiento de las comunidades de bibliotecarios de ambos lados de la frontera y el haber generado proyectos de colaboración entre California y Baja California. Gracias a la generosidad de Seguimos Creando Enlaces, a partir de 2016 el evento se ha llevado a cabo el primer día en la Biblioteca Central de San Diego y el segundo día en diferentes sedes académicas de la ciudad de Tijuana, tales como Universidad Iberoamericana, CETIS Universidad y Universidad Autónoma de Baja California. También, gracias a Seguimos Creando Enlaces y al apoyo de KPBS One Book One San Diego, a partir de 2015, Avivac es parte del Comité de One Book One San Diego, One Book Sin Fronteras, llevando a cabo un exitoso programa de promoción de la lectura en los diferentes municipios de Baja California. El tema de la conferencia de este año 2021 es Participación Ciudadana en Acción. Es relevante la intervención de la ciudadanía organizada en la toma de decisiones, en el manejo de los recursos y las acciones que tienen un impacto en el desarrollo de sus comunidades. Y como ejemplo de movimiento organizado ciudadano, este año Avivac, la Asociación de Bibliotecarios de Baja California, ha encabezado el rechazo a la decisión del gobierno del Estado de Baja California de desmantelar la Biblioteca Pública Regional Benito Juárez, la más grande de la ciudad, para convertirla en oficinas gubernamentales. Hasta el momento se han sumado diversas organizaciones como la Sociedad de Historia de Tijuana, promotores culturales, gestores, periodistas, la AMBAC México, Asociación Mexicana de Bibliotecarios AC y el Conej Colegio Nacional de Bibliotecarios AC a nivel nacional, además de 12.000 firmas en el sitio Change. Asimismo, se han realizado dos protestas afuera del edificio de la Biblioteca Regional Benito Juárez. Pero esta actividad está restringida por la pandemia. No sabemos qué resultado vayamos a tener. Lo que sí sabemos es que guardar silencio no es opción. Hi, I'm Sandy Hirsch, Associate Dean for Academics in the College of Professional and Global Education at San Jose State University. San Jose State University's School of Information offers 100% online degree pro programs to students around the world. On behalf of the San Jose State University School of Information, I am very pleased to welcome you to this Library 2.0 conference focused on civic engagement in action. This conference differs from our typical Library 2.0 conferences in several ways. First, it is our first completely bilingual conference. All sessions will be offered in both Spanish and English. Second, this conference is spread over two days instead of just one day, and it's spread over five hours each day instead of just the typical three-hour conference. This is so we can accommodate the additional time it takes to translate content. Finally, this conference was a true collaboration of multiple organizations, all working closely together to ensure that great content would be included and available in both English and Spanish. We are offering this conference in close partnership with the Guimos Creando Enlaces, along with the Southern California Library Cooperative, the Sarah Library Cooperative, and the California State Library. I think that the conference theme, Civic Engagement and Action, is a very timely topic for us to be addressing today at the Library 2.0 conference. Civic engagement activities range from voting to volunteering, as well as other activities that benefit society. Libraries are an essential part of helping communities thrive and libraries have a key role to play in engaging with individuals and groups to help them participate actively in civic activities. 
As I thought about our conference theme, I realized that our Library 2.0 conference series, which we started in 2011, was actually founded on many of the principles of civic engagement. Civic engagement is all about making a difference in the civic life of our communities and about promoting the quality of life in the community. The Library 2.0 community was founded to help bring together the global community of information professionals to learn from each other on a wide range of topics and to foster connections. So this topic feels very connected to the mission and vision of the Library 2.0 conference series, as well as very connected to the fundamentals of librarianship as a whole. San Jose State University School of Information is proud to support this conference on civic engagement in, in action, as it also connects in well with our own mission to educate information professionals who contribute to the well-being of our global community. Over the next two days, I look forward to hearing different perspectives related to civic engagement, meeting colleagues from the US, Mexico, and across the globe, and engaging in interactive discussions through the virtual conference. I hope you enjoy the conference. Good morning, buenos dias. I am Supervisor Nora Vargas, and on behalf of the County of San Diego, I wanna welcome you all to the Seguimos Creando Enlaces Conference. I am a big believer that libraries are a source of civic pride. These community landmarks create spaces for people to come together. They support lifelong learning and social participation, and they serve as a catalyst to build stronger, more resilient communities. Today's event will feature a presentation about One Book Sin Fronteras, a binational book club in the San Diego, Tijuana region. You're also going to have a chance to learn about how libraries support voting and elections, and about how one library supported the Spanish-speaking community with trustworthy information about COVID-19. These are just a few of the examples of presentations from today's event. I thank you all for your dedication and support of our communities in this unique binational region. I'm so proud to share that just last week, the Board of Supervisors adopted a, my proposal for a literacy campaign. And throughout this campaign, I look forward to uplifting the work you all do and support the work of libraries in my role as your supervisor for San Diego County. Thank you again for the opportunity to welcome you this morning. Have a great conference. Disfruten la conferencia y a leer se dicho. Before I begin this morning, I would like to recognize that I stand on the traditional homelands of the Kumeyaay, Coahuila, Cupeño, and Luceño indigenous peoples and thank and acknowledge them as the past, present, and future stewards of the land. We recognize that colonialism is a current ongoing process and we need to build mindfulness of our present participation. May this acknowledgement inspire a commitment to working to dismantle inequities and legacies of oppression and recognize the contributions of our indigenous communities. My name is Addie Huertas and I use pronouns she, ella. I'm the supervising librarian of Youth and Family Services at San Diego Public Library and former Creando Enlaces Committee Chair. On behalf of the San Diego Public Library, I'd like to welcome everyone to the ninth annual Seguimos Creando Enlaces Conference. I would like to thank the dedicated Creando Enlaces Committee comprised of local librarians from the San Diego region under Melissa Solis's amazing leadership and acknowledge San Diego County Library and Carlsbad City Library for organizing the conference this year. I also want to acknowledge Sarah Library Cooperative and SCLC who have presented this conference every year with the continued support of the California State Library. I want to recognize our longtime partners since the inception of this conference that include San Diego State University, ABIBAC, Asociación de Bibliotecarios de Baja California, and AMBAC, Asociación Mexicana de Bibliotecarios, as well as Reforma National. I also want to welcome and thank our new partners, Library 2.0 and School of Information at San Jose State University, who have done an amazing job to support our virtual event and expand our reach to students and globally. Creando Enlaces started as an idea with a colleague 10 years ago with a desire to connect with our libraries on both sides of the U.S.-Mexico border to create connections, share best practices, and support one another to bring impactful services to our Latinx and Spanish-speaking communities. 
I'm amazed to see how this conference continues to grow and happy that it's possible to continue to provide it virtually during these times. Now, more than ever, we must continue the good work to support and elevate our Latinx communities and our communities of color that have been disproportionately impacted by the pandemic in a time of racial unrest. I also wanna take this time to mention that our libraries in Tijuana are currently fighting to save their Benito Juarez library from being converted into office spaces and participating in civic engagement, advocating for public library services that have been missing in their region for years. We stand in solidarity and in support. Creando Enlaces is so unique because it brings public, academic, special libraries together, as well as community serving organizations for the common good of supporting one another in our Latinx communities on both sides of the border. So many fantastic projects have come about from cross-border collaborations as a result of connections and lasses made at Creando Enlaces. To mention a few, One Book Sin Fronteras project, which you'll be learning more about later in the conference, where we connect through literature and read the same book across borders. Also, our Children in Crisis project supported by Reforma National that continues to bring books and learning activities to unaccompanied minors and refugee families on both sides of the border here locally, San Diego and Tijuana and at the national level. We look forward to connecting again in person in the future, but also very thankful that this virtual platform allows us to bring the conference to more library folks to discover the magic of creando. Thank you y bienvenidos a Seguimos Creando Enlaces. Next up is our keynote speaker, Dr. Arcela Núñez Álvarez.